Okay, here is another huge fifth grade concept. It is called order of operations. Now, I want to be very clear. This is taught in fifth grade, but you will use the order of operations throughout middle school math and high school math and probably even in college. So as math escalates and gets harder, you'll be using this and applying it to many algebraic equations and expressions. Okay. How does the order of operations work? Well, I'm sure a lot of your parents have heard this. PEMDAS. PEMDAS is the acronym that's going to help us out to figure out which operation I do first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. There's a really cool mnemonic device that comes along with this, and it says, please excuse my dear aunt Susie. And I actually have an aunt Susie, so this is really helpful for me. But take a look. PEMDAS doesn't really stand for this, but each letter, each first letter of PEMDAS, you can see, creates this sentence. Please excuse my dear Aunt Susie. Now, what does this actually stand for? Pem, the P in PEMDAS stands for parentheses. So you always do what's in the parentheses first. The next thing you get to do is the E, and the E stands for exponents. So first you do your parentheses, then you do your exponents. Here's where it gets fun. The M and the D stand for multiply or divide, but you have to make sure that you're going to do multiplication or division, whichever one comes first, moving left to right. So if division comes first in your problem, you would tackle the division and then move on to the multiplication. And then the last two you have to do is the A and S in PEMDAS, and that is add and subtract. But remember, it's the same as the multiplication or division. This is also addition or subtraction, whatever comes first, moving left to right. So always remember PEMDAS, and you can always remember, please excuse my dear Aunt Susie.